architecture is the history of all phallic emotion. The Empire State Building is utter catharsis, and we are sitting in its silhouette. As you move out the building, can't you feel the undulations of her curvature? Ugh. Yes! When I stood atop the Brooklyn Bridge, staring at Brooklyn and then Manhattan, it made no difference which direction I walked in. Either way was hell. Henry Miller, Traffic of Capricorn, and a good literary description of a New York City nervous breakdown. Right on Broadway, Chinatown Soho, Hello. Little Italy stop, Battery Park, Statue of Liberty, of course, Central Park South stop. And there is nothing natural about Central Park. Down to Rockefeller Center, back to the terminal. That's life, a circle, wrought with destinations. I hope you can feel the omniscience of this moment as we have been blocking this traffic as far as you can see on the left. Sense the grandeur of your power as we disrupt one life after another. You know, I'm learning slowly in my cruising career that you cannot expect people to transform in an afternoon. And yet I expect that. I expect the total transformation of their life, the entire rewrite of their soul. The Twin Tower, the brothers. Sometimes I like to um, spin in between the two towers. Spin around and you make yourself dizzy and then you look up. I recommend that, it's fun. When you are sitting in the middle of Midtown Manhattan, you are sitting amongst the 20th century invention. Civilization has never looked like this before. This is ludicrousness, and this cannot last. The new Ann Taylor store on the right. I think one of the great tragedies of this experiment called civilization is the fact that people have to work for a living. Other than my acne, I think it would be the first thing I would remove from my life. <laughs> Let's do it right. Let's tour. You know, according to the city reports, 11 people have jumped off this bridge and survived. One of my uh, cruising dreams would be able to get a cruise together with those 11.